ICU PICO questions for ventilator-associated pneumonia. Introduction Intensive care unit patients suffer the risk of losing their lives due to the critical illnesses they suffer from, and ventilator-associated infections contracted while under special care, such as nosocomial pneumonia. The infection affects 27% of the patients and medical experts rate it as one of the most common pneumonia infections. Over 86% of ICU-related pneumonia cases are a result of mechanical ventilation. The cases are, usually, higher in different populations, for example, those reported in the United States range from 250,000 to 300,000 per year. This paper provides ICU PICO questions for ventilator-associated pneumonia. It focuses on mechanically ventilated ICU patients. ICU PICO question The PICO question is, in mechanically ventilated ICU patients, does positioning the patient in a semi-fowler position result in a lower incidence of nosocomial pneumonia when compared to the supine position? Nosocomial pneumonia, being a secondary process, infects intubated patients under mechanical ventilation and occurs after a period of 48 hours. Measures to counter the infection include respiratory secretions analysis, high levels of clinical supervision, and patient bedside examination. Through the study of the pathogens, clinical experts have known more about the infection and how to manage it. The infection diagnosis includes clinical, radiologic, and microbiologic analyses. Overtreatment and undertreatment cases are experienced when dealing with the infection. Poor positive predictive value and specificity are some of the factors that lead to overtreatment while undertreatment results from over-reliance on clinical diagnosis. Bed rest positions, for example, semifowler and supine are also associated with nosocomial pneumonia. Comparing the two bed rest techniques, semifowlers result in a lower infection incidence than the supine position. Semifowler position involves resting the patient's head between a 45 to 60 degrees angle. The position enables proper breathing by allowing maximum chest expansion and abdominal muscle relaxation. The supine position involves the ill patient lying face up. Such patients tend to experience less ventilation and perfusion in the anterior parts of their lungs compared to the dependent parts. ICU PICO Statement PICO refers to an acronym for the elements that make up the clinical question. The elements are P. Population, I. Intervention, C. Comparison, O. Outcome, and T. Time. In this case, the elements represented below match the PICO format as follows. P. Mechanically ventilated ICU patients. I. Semifowler's position. C. Supine position. O. Lower nosocomial pneumonia incidence. T. Duration at the ICU. Population. Over 86% of ICU-related pneumonia cases are linked to mechanical ventilation. In the United States, a thousand hospital patient admissions register incidence rates of between 5 to 10 cases with 250,000 to 300,000 reported cases annually. Infection also has a 0 to 50% mortality rate. Intervention Practices done to reduce the infection rates include raising the patient's head to a 30 degrees semi upright position, oral hygiene, early mobilization, and daily neurologic evaluations. Comparison Between supine and semi fowlers, patients in semi fowler positions have a lower incidence of nosocomial pneumonia. The supine position interferes with the patient's perfusion and ventilation. Outcome Semi-fowler bed rest position is recommended for patients with necessary restrictions even though the trial results do not fully prove it to be effective or harmful. Time. Nosocomial pneumonia contraction occurs after 48 hours of hospitalization and the results of intervention practices used can be acquired after 24 hours. Conclusion. Patients found to be suffering from nosocomial pneumonia should immediately receive antibiotics. In instances where a patient is already using antibiotics, the nurse should immediately change them and administer another. More supervision should be conducted on patients with deteriorating health conditions to determine if they are suffering from mechanically ventilated nosocomial pneumonia.